I'm sure you've heard this before, right? EVs won't work. They can't work. It's impossible. Why? Because so many people live in an apartment. Well, that's just said by people who don't want them to work. So they want to find any reason why they can think of electric cars are not the future of the automotive industry, but they are my friends. And here is the very simple, very easy solution to living in an apartment and owning an EV. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers, great to have you guys. Welcome everyone else, thanks for tuning in guys. Over the past 28 days, I had about 10,000 new subscribers, so welcome to all of you guys. You're all new, so make sure you check out the 2,500 videos we've made over the past 18 months. There's more information there about electric cars than you're gonna find anywhere else. And there's a really good community group on our Electric Viking Facebook group that you can join and ask questions to other people because unfortunately I just get so many emails and messages that I'm not very good at doing that. But there's a lot of people there in the group who will definitely be willing to assist you with any inquiries that you have about EVs. And a lot of them have been watching the videos that I've made and doing their own research as well. So they've got a lot of knowledge there that they're willing to share. There's also some pretty impressive journalists there as well who have some really good insight and takes on what's really going on in the electric vehicle industry. So this new solution. It was obvious, right? It was an obvious solution. Aside from the fact that if you live in an apartment block, many apartment blocks are getting charging installers or just putting extension leads out to the apartment block where, I mean, if you're going to drive your EV a lot every day, if you're going to do hundreds of kilometers, that's not really a solution. Then you're going to need to use a fast charging station or another option, but it's an option for the average person who only drives about 30 kilometers a day or about 20 miles a day. That's the average in most cities around the world, 20 miles per day. It's not a lot. You could get way more than that from one day's charging on a trickle charger just going straight from your, your power point from your house or your apartment block. So if you just put in a bunch of power points basically in the car park for your apartment block, that provides a significant part of the solution. But this is a solution for people who can't do that, right? There's more solutions, but wait, there's more, right? It's gonna keep on going. Another thing that's gonna be added to this list is what I just saw recently. Taxi companies are now starting to use induction electric charging for their EVs. Actually have chargers that don't plug in. They just charge from the road. Wireless charging for an EV and it does actually work. However, here in Australia, and soon many places all over the world, power poles will be transformed into EV charging stations. Local street side power poles will be turned into electric vehicle charging stations as part of an Australian first being rolled out across Sydney and Hunter regions of New South Wales. It's also happening in Melbourne, but I'll get to that Melbourne story in just a minute. Smart metering and data intelligence provider IntelliHub said 50 street side locations will be selected for the EV street side charging project. With each electric vehicle EV charging station to be connected directly to the overhead electricity supply and energy use matched with 100% green power. IntelliHub will lead the project, which is being delivered by several EV energy and EV businesses in partnership with local councils. Schneider Electric is providing EV charges for the project and Origin Energy is providing 100% green power, meaning all the energy used by these EV chargers will be matched with the equivalent amount of certified renewable energy added to the grid. This is yet another good thing being created by the existence of EVs. People who buy them generally want to use renewable energy if they can. So that encourages energy providers to actually install the renewable energy capacity so that they can be charged by renewable energy. The charging station sites will be nominated by up to nine local councils taking part in the projects. Basically, they're being built in a lot of different places all around Sydney in Australia. Intelli Chief Executive Wes Ballantyne said the project would help tackle the lack of public access to EV charges, particularly for the one in four Australian households which do not have off-street parking. Now, a lot of people are not aware of this fact, but China, right? 30% electric cars sales right now. One of the key reasons is people in China know that there's EV chargers literally everywhere. China has one and a half million EV fast chargers, meaning it has about 70% of the world's global fast charging market. And in Australia, we're pretty backwards here. We don't have a whole lot of fast chargers. Yeah, Tesla has some good ones. Outside that, there's not a whole lot. Lots are being built, but lots of them are not yet online. So this is a really good solution for those people who don't have access to a charger. Power poles line most of our public streets. In fact, they line most public streets all around the world. That presents an opportunity for the EV charging market. They're an accessible, safe, and practical option for EV charging. And I mean, it's another way for electric 
companies to make money, right? The company says they'll be installed in front of the meter, making them a controllable resource for grid operators looking to better manage the increasing penetration of renewable energy connected to the electricity network. So potential locations for charging stations include areas near apartment buildings and high density single dwelling suburban streets, shopping strips, bus or train stations, sporting facilities, hospitals, fast food restaurants, yeah, the list just goes on, right? You're probably thinking, well, hey, I've already heard of this before. It's probably because you have. You know why? Thousands of power or light pole based EV chargers have already been successfully deployed across London, Germany, Canada, and the United States. And they're also about to be installed in Melbourne as well. Electric vehicle charging cables and plugs will be embedded in nature strips and footpaths in Melbourne. And one of the key reasons why these sorts of charges are being uh, encouraged by governments and local councils is because commercial electric charges in a lot of places especially in some cities where EVs are not, as, are not as well known, such as Australia, have been plagued by ongoing faults and outages that providers are blamed on supply chain issues. Similar trials have been undertaken by local councils in the United Kingdom, where shallow trenches are dug into the footpath to embed charging cables or charges are actually installed in streetlights. So who would actually use these charges? Well, anyone, but mostly local residents. The curbside model would only be for residents who live in detached homes, and those who had paid for a charger would not have ownership of the car spot next to the charger, as it would be on public land. So for those of you who've been emailing me saying, oh, electric cars can't work because X, 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 blah, 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 blah. I can tell you now, my friends, there is always a solution. And as long as there's entrepreneurs around who want to take advantage of a situation or governments who want to support EVs and do the right thing because the constituents voted them in, their constituents can vote them out just as easily, then solutions like this will continue to be deployed all over the world. It won't be long now, only a matter of a couple of years or so before gasoline stations or petrol stations will be much more inaccessible and harder to get to than electric chargers. They'll be ubiquitous. They'll be everywhere, on every street corner, and firing an EV charger will no longer be difficult. It will simply be a matter of looking down the street. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Bye bye.